welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurata. wrote that introduction. I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? your life story, especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. with your pitch. So you were saying something about eating a siren? That's not exactly what I... Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Imagine them naked. Pardon? It's great! Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what it called? Allow me to present the Hippocratic Matic. Right. Because hippos do no harm. Sure. All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. Wow, what a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another Anu. And I gave it the hard sell. Just really sweaty and desperate. Yeah. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well... Second time's gonna be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's science. And magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Science, magic. Smagic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope 
flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, Thanks. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh no. I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this. I loved your pitch. I you really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang up job. Yeah. It felt good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up. Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right. We can use the device. We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out.
It's working! <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Hot diggity, you scared me half to death! Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? Harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I may have an offer for you if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and enemies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel in Who is it? Who, who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Fantastic! What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing or Win! Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. 